Peace, how you living? It's your boy Juwali Wally, man, and I'm just coming live, and a few things I want to elaborate on is how to make criticism work for you. And I understand obstacles is being placed in our way, and those obstacles is just really to see that what you really want are you willing to go hard for, is you willing to fight for. And as for me, yes, I am. And instead of me avoiding criticism, I actually make criticism work for me because I understand communication is a class that no one graduates from. And the reason why I say that, because the wisest man in the world, his words can still be misinterpreted by a fool. All I'm saying is do something is better than being busy doing nothing. So don't waste your time trying to explain who you are, what your goals is, what your role to success are. If that individual don't have the best intentions or able to see visually your dreams and your passions, then save your energy, save your breath. You know, because at the end of the day, we got to have a vision. We got to demand respect and we got to demand more for ourselves and we got to challenge ourselves. Because if you don't change your directions and you don't allow no one to change your directions, you hear me? Eventually, you will end up where you're trying to go. You will end up where you're heading. Because at the end of the day, it's simple, easy being yourself. Don't try to compete and don't try to uh, uh, compare yourself to anybody. Because everybody will respect you once you do that. But if they hate on you, that's a good enough reason to give them a reason to hate. So at the end of the day, man, keep doing what you're doing. Keep being the champ. And... Um, Understand, ain't nothing wrong with being busy. It's just showing that you got priorities. And um, like the John Henry Clark said, man, only debate with my equals. All others, I teach. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. This your Young Scholar 103, Jawali Wally. I holler. Peace. Good morning, y'all.